this 2021. Be informed. Be guided. Be inspired. As the office of the ASDS proudly presents the mini devotional for leaders. A blessed day everyone. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Welcome to Hector's Ma Hector Makalalag's Leadership Channel and welcome to the Mini Devotional for Leaders by Jim Saber. The episode today is episode 31. This is about, in, the title of our episode is Envision the Future. The neighbor women said, Now, at last, Naomi has a son again, and they named him Obed. He became the father of Jesse and the grandfather of David. That is found in Ruth chapter 4, verse 17. Naomi's son married Ruth and then died. Because Naomi had no male offspring to care for her, she returned to her native people to live out her days. Ruth had bare every right to stay in their hometown and remarry, but she decided to go with her mother-in-law. So, strong yung band nila, no? She could have remarried no? and leave, that, leave her. In Naomi's hometown, Ruth met a man who wanted to marry him, and he went through the proper steps to do so. They had a child who had a child, and who had a child, and who became King David. Wow! Ang nice naman ang descendants nila. Into whose bloodline, Jesus was born. And you know the rest of the history? Wow! Do you regularly step out of the present to brainstorm the future results of your current decisions? Based on what you are doing today, where might you be in 10 years from now? Remember, our present decisions will affect the people in the future. So the people in the future will expect something better decision for you to do today. So you better decide well because you should envision the future. And those people in the future are expecting much on your decision today. So the leadership principle is choices you made yesterday are already affecting your future. Does that have an effect on the decision you'll make tomorrow? That's the question you have to answer. Have a blessed day, everyone.